All right, it is time for day nine of the One Life run. So today we are going to go ahead and be moving forward through the rest of UVHM story pretty much as fast as we can. We are at a train to catch turn in, so we should definitely be able to complete the story today. Hopefully we don't pick up a stray dot along the way and we just have all of our farms open and everything is super cool and we never die and just have a great time. But who knows, this is one life, I could get tagged with a fire dot again, and then just, you know, collapse again. So, we'll we'll see how it goes, hopefully that doesn't happen, and then maybe we can start poking at Torg DLC as well, because I do need to get Torg DLC unlocked and get Pete farmed a little bit. So we'll just have to see how that goes, but we are going to walk forward. get them while they're spawning in. They can't break your bee shield if they can't even shoot you. Alright, so we're not starting Bloodwing out great because we did get distracted by enemies stuck in the elevator. So we are going to need to be a little careful here. Like that. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Tufang and Grog. Yeah, that works. Uh, Bloodwing is a little broken. Oh, I did the thing, didn't I? I did the thing. Hold on, I want to speed up game time and see what happens here. I'm I'm actually very curious if you wait long enough what will happen. Okay. Well... It is what it is. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Although, my build may not sound like the best build on paper, but if I get a Norfleet, then it instantly becomes the best build because being able to shoot a Norfleet twice as fast and potentially with Drunk Effect twice as fast is surprisingly very good when you, you know, think about it. Like, who would have guessed? Being able to just dump a Norfleet mag on a guy instantly, pretty good. As long as we get a good one, or one at all. Layuda. Just to guarantee it. Well, mmm, Pimpernel. Never mind, that did not work at all. I guess worst case we can just wait him out now. Wait for him to go up top. Huh. 
yeah, he's moving. You can see on the mini-map the one red dot that's like really just gunning it for this direction. There we go. Alright, it is already bunker time once again. I realistically think everything about this should be safe. But also, who knows? It should be, though. And our two surveyors are not stuck anymore. Okay. There we go. That hopefully should make... Yep, there's the Super BA. Okay, one more. There we go. Apply our kunai. Yeah. That checks out. Hold on. There's a boar in here somewhere. Or maybe there's not, and we just duke it out old school. Well, it appears to be working well enough. That's fair. There we go. Level 53 off of the bunk. Probably get follow through for right now, since it is more enjoyable than execute is, even though execute is really funny sometimes. makes me happy for some reason I think it's literally just playing zero just playing zero is so fun the swap speed is nice the two fang is funny everything about this is just like neuron activation for me right now all right the best map in the Vigi game right here we have two we have three we have no enemies we have five enemies now Okay, still above health gate, that's pretty good. And let the funny begin. Who put this ironclad here? That was a little spooky. Hello? Oh, 
Oh, that board gun sucks. Oh, it's not a... Oh, wait, no, it was. I thought that was a heavy nomad for a second. That actually killed most of them. Okay, one more. Okay. There we go. Alright. Please no heavy nomads. That's not a heavy nomad. That's good. That is a normal Goliath. Okay. Hello, Acid. How you doing? Am I getting a raid? Are you here super duper early? Are you the Harbinger? You are the Harbinger. Don't die. Uh, that's part of the plan. Hello. Welcome on in, gamers. Welcome to my second attempt of One Life. We're doing a two-fang build in One Life. And it's going pretty well. I mean, we've got a good crit and max size rogue. I'm in the way. I know I am. We've got funny maxed out two-fang. We've got like the wind. And I want to use a shadow relic, but we have to wait until we can get a level 62 version because that is the lowest you can roll it and still get a 100% two-fang chance. And also that does mean we need Seraph Crystal, so we might have to farm Pyro Pete. We orc slash Topnia spammed OP Tenvora under the map for 20 plus minutes. Mmm. That sounds so exciting. That sounds so fun. Woo. Alright, there is a heavy nomad? No way. No way. Just like that? Really? No way. Just bro. <laughs> that is really unfortunate. Well? Dang. Heavy nomad. While I'm a little bit distracted, that's, it is what it is. That's funny though. That's really funny. Yeah, what I should have done is the second I realized that that nomad was there, I should have hopped out and gotten in the open and around to where he was. But it is what it is. So, rip, unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, it is what it is. So, That's funny. But yeah, I'll probably just play a little longer and go a little faster with this attempt. And then if this attempt isn't it, I it is what it is. Because we have been doing this for about nine days. So, yeah. We were over worried about Sawtooth. To be fair, it's not Sawtooth that killed me, it was my own distraction that killed me. Flint. 
Zero fuse, go! Oh, well, I waited till he had iframes. Or not iframes, but DR. Boop. Boop. Please die. Please. There we go. Level 16. Level 19 off of mutated Varkids. Wilhelm, please go away. Oh, I have accidentally just two-shot that guy. Oh, that's why I two-shot them. Okay. Yeah, they're worth, like, no XP. So, not really gonna stay here and try to farm weapons or anything like that. Just gonna take our funny little grade 10 XP relic. That's not bad. That's actually pretty nice. And we'll move on. Okay, so Overlook will be the last thing we do today. We are going to play for four hours instead of three until our next character dies. And I have been getting rather distracted during the days. We'll go on tangent. Someone will ask me questions about like a different character entirely and I'll just switch to that character and play it for a little bit. So I'm going to avoid doing that for the entirety of this character's lifespan. So we will see how quickly we catch up to where we were and how quickly we surpass where we were because my assumption is three to four days. Maybe at most, probably realistically. So that is the plan as of right now. I'm gonna finish clearing out Overlook and then we'll just call it a day. All right. And with that quest turn in, we are level 20. We are ready to start Clan Wars next time. And then surely we will finish the rest of normal mode. And then we will be starting TVHM with so much time on a day after that. So everything should be nice and fast from here. I do just want to sprint. So if this character dies, this is the last character. I'm going to say it now. Attempt number three. If we make it, we make it. If we don't, we don't. It is what it is. Day nine. <laughs>